Uh, good morning. Hope you're all well. It's a bit windy today, it's a bit blustery. But it's also half past nine and that's that's late for me. <laughs> Normally I'm uh, already done about five stations at this point. But uh, yeah, we're off to Birmingham International today. Now, it might be five stations, it might only be four, because I should have left an hour ago. But then nature called. So, uh, if we take a station out, it will be put back in very quickly, I can assure you. But uh, is this guy coming this way? Yes, he is. Oh, so is she. Oh, dear me. So we'll get the 922 to uh, Trevor, uh, to uh, Birmingham International and go to our first station, Natalie Park, and then Stetchwood Lee Hall International, and we finish up at Boston Green. <sighs> Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? <sighs> what have we got this early in the morning? Oh, it might be a 3.54, I tell you. Or it might be a 352 disguised itself as a 350 fucking four. Is it 352 40? Yeah. My map. Ooh, 352s this early in the morning. It should be made illegal. Oh, good lord, I remember this station. Oh, lovely. Yes, it would do it well. Let me just get set up here. I don't want to change that on. Yeah, right, so we've arrived at our first station of the day, Adley Park. It is West Midlands Railway operated with just two platforms. And in my opinion, still, I think, one of the most underutilised and underappreciated stations on the West Coast Main Line. I really, really do. I mean, you think of it, you're, we're what, about uh, five minutes on the train outside of Birmingham? So we're in an affluent part of Birmingham still. And everything just looks so basic. It just looks basic, doesn't it? Just remember as well, this station could have closed. They could have closed this station fully. And then there would be no Adley Park. But thankfully, they managed to uh, keep it open. Hopefully when the Commonwealth uh, Games start up in a couple of months. In a couple of months? Yeah, a couple of months. This station gets uh, the much needed boost I think it, uh, it should get. Anywho. We're here for an hour, and then from there, it is down to our next station, which is just down the line and around the corner, Stetchford.
I should actually uh, mention actually just before the Transport for Wales uh, comes back up. Um, not a lot of facilities here at uh, Adley Park. You've got benches, four on this side, two on that side. Two shelters. The one on the platform two looks like it was the original from this station. You've got a ticket office that's just up there with a self-serving ticket machine. And if you ever get stuck here, well, there's buses. Because Route 8A and 8C goes past uh, the station here. Here comes the transport for Wales now. Hello there, Stetchford. Uh, right then, folks, we have arrived at Stetchford. It is West Midlands Railways operated and it has three platforms. Although, let's be fair, platform three over here. Haven't seen a passenger train in ages. <laughs> It'd be nice, though, if they did reopen platform three and had a service that stopped there. You know they were proposing this one that goes uh, down the Campbell line? Just saying. It's a lovely station, Stetchford. It's a very, very nice station. It actually had more traffic than it uh, did at one time because the London train used to stop here. But then our Rugeley train took its path. We nicked it! <laughs> Which I think is uh, better still, anyway. That footbridge there, that was put in about uh, three, four years ago now. It's a lovely footbridge, isn't it? There is a ticket office here. It's that little hut that, just over there. Don't know if you can see that white hut that's uh, just appearing there. Unlike Adley Park, this has dot matrix boards as well. And a couple of shelters that actually have seats in. But uh, yeah, here for an hour. And then you can probably guess where this is going. We're gonna go to our next station then, which is literally around that corner. And it's called Lee Hall.
I should point out as well, if you're um, ever stuck here and you need a bus uh, to get you back into somewhere, routes uh, 11A and 11C go over that bridge and they pick up just beyond where those houses are, around where those houses are over there. I'd recommend it, uh, folks, because it uh, takes you to one of the best places in the world. A cock screen, a cock screen, a cock screen, a cock screen, a cock screen. Certainly, if you're a West Midlander and you're uh, a bit of a filthy bugger, that's for sure. Well, at least it's a lot drier here. As a flight goes uh, over me on the uh, path into... Uh... I can't see what it is, unfortunately. But we're at Lee Hall Station. It is West Midlands Railway operated with two platforms. And I'm also slightly annoyed. Slightly miffed, if anything. Um, basically, as you saw in the clip, um, 350 too far, the, the, the Rugeley to Zero came in. And as the Rugeley to Zero came in, the Emirates uh, flight disappeared over the uh, top of us. Ooh, let me sit down here. Can I sit on that? Is it dry enough? I think it's dry enough. There we go. Yeah, the Emirates came over. I was going to get a photo of it and it fucking, uh, fucking didn't do it. But that's fine, because we, uh, we've just, uh, as you've just seen, we've just got the opportunity. Well, you will have just seen anyway. Uh, we've... Which uh, is good. We've actually got both sides of it, which is uh, awesome. There's no tr uh, transport for Wales uh, right now at this station anyway, because uh, I just checked real-time trains. The Transport for Wales is running about 45 minutes late uh, coming out of Aberystwyth. So they'll probably terminate that at Birmingham New Street, if not probably Wolverhampton. I'll, uh, I'll have to wait and see. Um, it's got one of the most, I would say, recognisable overbridges ever, Lee Hall, with the station sign. That's new. Have they put fencing up uh, between the bridge and... Is it between the bridge and the Lee Hall sign? Have they put fencing up there? I think they put fencing up there, that's new. You do get buses uh, over here as well if you ever get stuck here. I'm not sure which service it is. I think it's the 18. Or it could be the 17. It's one of them. But Tico doesn't really care about that, does he, Tico? Oh, your boy, he got stuck here. Well, he got stuck here. Here I am trying to help you out. Facts. Anyway, we're waiting for the uh, train to take us to International and then we'll see if we do Marston Green. We're definitely doing International, I would say so. I'm not sure about Marston Green if I'm being honest.
is an excellent question that I would love to know. Ooh. It's not Manchester Piccadilly, it's Manchester Liquor Willy. Manchester, uh, Liquor Willie. So here we are at our turnaround station for today. It is Birmingham International. It is Avanti West Coast operated with five platforms to its name. Uh, both in, well, you've got two islands and then you've got platform one on its own. Um, two clothes there, over there. Change here for the big, loud, shouty things uh, behind those buildings over there. The airport. Yeah, it's, it's getting a bit blowy and windy. I might leave Marston Green, actually. I might just go home. Go on the 351. I think that would uh, do me. Although, in saying that, the planes are actually going out the other way for some reason. Now, why are they doing that? Excellent question. You can tell you're international by that just there, that big gold uh, British Railway sign, which has been here since the dawn of time, I do believe. It's nice that they kept hold of that, I think. We've got a yellow on this platform. I'm expecting a Beskut to uh, Davin. I think it's Daventry Beskut, actually. We'll see if that runs. If it all goes tits up here, there are buses which you go through the concourse over there. Basically, that's the concourse uh, there. You go into the airport and down an escalator. You can get uh, the X1 to Coventry and to Birmingham. Uh, you've also got shuttle buses over there. Uh, X. 12 I think goes out of the airport and goes into Birmingham or over to Solly Hull and there's another bus service that I cannot think of off the top of my head oh there's uh, the one that goes over the Coles Hill but uh, yeah we don't talk about that do we Tico anyway here until 14 whatever it is and then I think we might go home I think we might. Don't know yet. I'm fully decided.
that way. took a few minutes. I took a few minutes to myself and uh, now we're out of it. 350 uh, 252 is going to do the honours. I know where I'm going. In the section that says FC. Unfortunately everyone else has decided the exact same thing that uh, you know first class is uh, theirs so let's go right to the back because no doubt that's empty we have fucking people smoking here and no, not a fucking member of staff fucking doing anything about it what the fuck Jesus I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> the wind's getting up again. Oh dear me. Well, that weren't too bad, I suppose. Oh. I suppose it weren't too bad, was it? Didn't do Marston Green in the end. But that could work out in my strategy. Because leave Marston Green, come back and do it anytime can't we? It's genius. Why is it genius? Because I thought about that. But no, we got uh, Adley Park, Stetchford, Lee Hall and Burger International done. I suppose that's something. Mm. That's right, my leg's cramping up badly. So uh, I've got to get that sorted off it quickly. But yeah. Uh, oh dear me. I'll end it here because I can't be bothered anymore. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe uh, if you haven't done so already. We're going back on uh, Friday. But... Uh, yeah, we're going back for planes on Friday. My first ever stint at Birmingham International Airport. Hopefully we get the Emirates. I hope so anyway. Anyway, that'll do it for me guys. I'm off. So, uh, see you for the next vlog when we go do plane spotting at International. Take care.